So, hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to continue our Melody Festival in 2022 interviews, and today we have the lovely Lisa Ix and Niela. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> All right, then how are you both doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, also. Yes. A little Very nervous, good. but. But it's okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Good to know. So we're going to do a quick icebreaker quickly. Um, so obviously, Nella, you're new to the Eurovision fan. So <laughs> just saying one fun fact about yourself that not many people know about. Well, um, uh, maybe that I was a really, really good football player uh, once uh, in upon a time. Uh, <laughs> not, not more, but um, I'm, I actually, I have some skills. Want to would li- love to show you guys, but uh, I have no football here. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll make sure to get one if you make it past the s- to the final, and I'll bring a football okay. with me. <laughs> That's a dude. <deal. laughs> okay, then. All right, then. So moving on, because you both are participating together. Yes. With the song that I'm not gonna say because I'm gonna butcher the Swedish of it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what was the inspiration for you both to participate this year? Mm-hmm. Sorry, what was the question? First? What made you want to participate? Participate. Uh-huh. Uh Well, uh, it's been a dream for me since I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. And um, it felt really, really good to do it uh, together with uh, a Schlager queen <laughs> <laughs> that ha- has done it before. Um, so I'm really, really happy that we got in and mm-hmm. uh, can do this to you together. Yeah. Right. And I heard the song and they sent it to me and I loved it. So uh, I was super excited to do it and <laughs> I've said that if I'm going to do this again I want to do something different. Yeah. And this is very different. It's in Swedish and then it's with another person. I'm, I'm not alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> everything's better now. It's uh, a lot more fun to do yeah. it with uh, with him. All right, then so for those who are not versed in Swedish, what is the song about? Um it's about like when you put a f- on a fake smile and pretend to be all right after a breakup, mm. um, like the the first uh, time after the breakup when you actually feeling very sad and down, but you try to just do you really think I care? I'm super happy. I'm gonna go mm-hmm. out party oh. and like you put on a fake smile. That's mm-hmm. what it's about. Good uh, expl- explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you, you don't notice that that much on the staging because it's so bright. So, who came up with the staging? Uh, well, I had some uh, ideas <laughs> <laughs> that actually became true. That's um, mm-hmm. I'm very happy about that. Uh, but... Um, I I don't know the words in the English. Kulisser, uh, um, facader. Mm, it's supposed to be a little bit like plastic yeah. because it's like you put on a show for for the people that yeah. are watching you and that's exactly. why it's like very bright mm-hmm. and much colors and this thing that you put on a fake smile mm-hmm. it's very happy but you're not really that happy mm-hmm. it's really 2d uh, that covers up uh, the darkness in the background yeah mm-hmm. uh, that's the idea so and uh, and we have some fake smiles too that we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last. No, that's not fake. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, last couple of questions because obviously, even though you get the normal viewers who watch the Melo each year, I mean, who already know of Lisa, um, if they are new to the competition and watch you both perform, and they're listening to you for the first time, and they okay, oh, I really like these two. What more? What more of their? songs I could listen to like what song would you recommend for them to listen to oh mm-hmm. that we have made yeah or e- either or, or yeah we actually have one that we released like uh, a couple of months ago yeah. I don't know last summer yeah uh, it's called Ingen Annan it's mm-hmm. also in Swedish yeah um, uh, but it's very international <laughs> 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 yeah but I would recommend that song because they can hear both yeah. of us and mm-hmm. then uh, and then we of course have your own, own music because yes. I know Lisa with you you've released an EP and you've also released a few singles and yeah. so what else would you say they should listen to because you've listened you a bit Mm, (laughs) everything listen to everything Mm -hmm. (laughs) i don't know i don't i don't want to choose um yeah 
I have a song called The Legend. Uh, it's really good. You can listen yeah. to that. Okay, then, so we're just about to wrap this up. Um, obviously, um, the show's tomorrow. Obviously, all nervous and hopefully make it through. And we've got you. Eurovision viewers who also watch Mellow, as you already know, in the experience. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to say to them who, you know, always watch Mellow, even though they don't understand Swedish? Um, we want to say thank you for your support and it's mm. so so fun that you're watching the show even though you're not here in Sweden and uh, we really hope that you like our song and uh, the staging and everything um, even if it's in Swedish we hope this little explanation will give you a little bit better like understanding of uh, what the song means to us and uh, mm. yeah and we love you we love you Vilket <laughs> 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 är tack så mycket. Tack så mycket.